My name is Nader Nader Najad. I make videos for newcomers coming to Canada who want to get started and launch up like a rocket. But I don't just make videos for newcomers coming to Canada. I make videos for people already here and people in North America and around the world who want to get started and create something out of their lives and out of themselves. I'm building a business on the side. I'm doing digital marketing. Although these videos are how to move to Canada and immigrate, I also take you on adventures. I take you around the country and I show you what it means to live here as a Canadian, as a young Canadian trying to grow something. My purpose with this channel is to branch out, to build a business, and when things will come bigger, to incorporate you in my success. So hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell and I promise you, you won't don't regret sticking around. Today I'm going to be talking about why you should move to Canada instead of the United States. This is a big controversial topic, but hey, not all Americans will get mad at me because so many of them are like, we don't want any immigrants. So you know what? Here's my pitch to you why you should move to Canada. Politics aside, I mean, like people say Canadians are more accepting and multicultural. That aside too, I'm going to tell you why you direct benefit, not only socially, not only, you know, opportunity wise, but also financially why you should move to Canada. It is harder when you first move here. Don't get me wrong. I mean, moving to the States can be just as hard, but it is harder. Our economy is smaller, okay? Our economy is smaller, we have less people, and things are very spread apart. Whereas in the States, the economy is larger, there are more people, and things in general are less spread apart. You have so many states, Canadian provinces, massive. Gargantuan, second largest country by landmass in the world. So you have to understand, things are bigger, but they're also smaller in Canada. So you have to realize that for me as a Canadian trying to break into the economy and create something that's not only sustainable, but to like I always say, launch up like a rocket to be able to pick up a career that's going to make me hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars is not as easy as in the States. Obviously, there's more competition, there's more people there. And don't get me wrong, I understand the wage gap and I understand what it means to be in the United States and be making less than what you need to survive. I mean, it's, it's difficult and it's hard, but in terms of outright total potential, in general, it's more capped in Canada. And that's for a variety of careers. If you look at doctors in Canada, they make less than doctors in the States. If you look at journalists in Canada, they make maybe, they get capped at $86,000 something around there um, for, for public broadcasting. And in the States, you can make several million dollars being a journalist, but does that mean it's better to go to the States? No, I'll tell you why. Canada's better for creating opportunity because it's a newer country, it's easier to influence. What I think you should do moving to Canada is first of all, find a job that's going to give you stability and security. For people already in Canada, I say, hey, the second you're young enough, the second you're old enough, which is any time you can understand this video, create a business. But see, in Canada, if you create a business and you can make this business huge, the entire country will support you. It's the same thing in the States, but with Canada, it's a smaller economy. If you can grow it, you can head the country, is what I'm saying. There are so many entrepreneurs in Canada and they're all trying to create something, but it's in the earliest stages right now. We're a fairly new country. I mean, we have a lot of business that are emerging and growing and we have cohort events and people are pitching investors. What I think you should do is start a business in Canada. I think it's more business, uh, for in terms of business opportunities, we have less actually created in this country and there's less competition. Or if you create something that can help all Canadians, you could become an intrinsic part of this community. It's much easier because there's less saturation in terms of people, in terms of ideas, in terms of economy, there's a lot of growth to be made, which means that you can have a lot of impact. Although it's harder, although things are more sparse, you can have an incredible amount of impact in this country, which is why I think you should move here. And now let's get to the other things. Canada for multiculturalism. I have never faced discrimination to a high degree in Canada. I've been to the States a few times. It's 
Generally, from my experiences, I've been to good places, but it was generally better than what I was told, but I've always felt more welcome in Canada. And I hear this from a lot of people moving from the States to Canada saying that, hey, I feel a lot more you know, in included and accepted and safe in Canada. And a big part of that is that we like all over Canada, it's, it's highly multicultural. And I'm saying this, I'm in a small community right now. Um, there aren't people from all over the world in this community, but still there's an understanding of there being another world out there. So I think moving to Canada is gonna be great. I think it's, it's a new country and coming here as a new immigrant, you can actually influence. But you have to have the idea of specifically what sort of influence and impact you wanna make. If you want to create a company, what company, what are you going to do? What is your end goal? How much do you want to make? Like if you can come here with those specifics and move to this country, you can be a pioneer. Okay. I believe, and this is my pitch. I think it's much easier to be a pioneer in Canada than it is in the United States. And that's as simple as it is it's breaking it down for you. Thanks for watching this video. Maybe you agree with me, maybe you don't. Let me know in the comment section down below. I respect all of your opinions. I wanna hear it. And I wanna know how I can you know, make these videos better to help you. So again, subscribe, smash the notification bell, and you take care.